ain't seen no prices no more, bro. Wait till the mutable ways. I'm about to summon it real quick. Wait till the mutable ways. 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 I want the mutable ways. We on the mutable ways. I get the race in the race. I get the race in the race. Oh, but see, we got the race. I want the mutable ways. Now we get into the race. Now we get into the race. We've been waiting since May. Now we in September. On the OGs. Remember? Remember? Yeah, we got kids. What's up, my homie homies and fellow NFT collectors? I've had several of my subscribers ask me to do a video detailing the new Hero NFT platform that a lot of people in the VV community are collecting on now. So I'm going to take you guys through their website and explain more about this platform that has officially licensed DC Comics NFTs that are minted on the same blockchain as Vivi's NFTs, Immutable X. Before we get started though, I don't want to waste your time, so I'll let you know that currently Hero is only available in four countries. That's the United States, the United Kingdom, Brazil, and India, although they do plan on adding more countries in the future, of course. And a lot of their NFTs can be purchased on the Immutable X Marketplace as well as OpenSea. So anybody from any country can purchase from there. So the first thing you need to know about Hero are that there are two different types of NFTs. You've got your digital only NFTs and you've got your hybrids, which they're going to be a whole lot of. They haven't released yet. They've sold out of the pre-sale orders, but they do plan on selling these at places like Walmart and Target. So there's going to be a lot of them, but just like with any type of collection, they're going to have some rare versions that have less additions and are more scarce and, of course, are more valuable. And then you have the digital-only NFTs, which they've just started dropping recently. And overall, these NFTs have a lot less additions, but they don't have the physical counterparts like the hybrid NFTs. We'll talk more about those cards when we start talking about how to export them from the Hero website over to Immutable X or your MetaMask wallet. But first, I want to let you know why these NFTs are doing so well in the secondary market because of some of the bullish features that they've already added to the platform. First off, the Hero NFTs are interoperable, which means that you can export them from your wallet on the Hero website over to Immutable X, where you can sell it on their marketplace where people can buy with cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum or Omi tokens. Once you have your Hero NFT on IMX, you can even export it to your MetaMask wallet and sell it on websites like OpenSea. So if you haven't exported any of your Hero NFTs yet, I'll show you how to do that real quick. It's actually very easy. All you have to do is go to your collection on the Hero website and click on the NFT that you want to export to Immutable X. You'll have to have a MetaMask wallet set up and connect it to your Hero account before you can export it. But once you've done that, all you got to do is sign through your MetaMask a couple times and it exports from the Hero website over to Immutable X in a matter of minutes. After you've exported your Hero NFT to Immutable X, you'll have to wait about 24 hours and then there's a button you can click on Immutable X on that NFT that says withdraw to Ethereum wallet. And you'll have to pay gas fees in order to do that, but once it's in your Ethereum wallet, you'll be able to list it on OpenSea. Another nice feature that Hero has is the ability to withdraw your money through their website. You'll have to go through their know your customer process first. And again, this is available in only four countries, the United States, United Kingdom, Brazil, and India as of now. And lastly, when it comes to Hero, one of the bullish signs that I can see for this platform is the demand that we've seen already. And we're going to see even more demand when these NFTs start being sold on eBay and then being sold in Walmart. And the flippers see that the prices on eBay are profitable to start buying from the Walmart store. And we've already seen with baseball cards when that happens that people will line up for hours at a time in order to buy the boxes when they're released in Walmart and it really spikes up the prices of those collectibles. All right, so I wanna get into some of the strategies that I'm using on Hero to make money, both short term and long term. In the long term, my strategy for a lot of NFT platforms is just to stack, collect, and hold. I was able to order two of the $50 Hero packs before they sold out and I'll have those shipped to me sometime this month. I plan on saving most of those and watching the market and seeing what the prices look like before I start reselling those hybrids for a profit. Another important strategy to preserve value for your hero collectibles in the long term is to protect your physical cards. As a long time baseball card collector, I have a lot of experience in this field. You wanna make sure that you're getting soft sleeves for all your cards at this point, because all of these are series one. And if Hero is an NFT platform that's around for another 20 or 30 years, those series one cards are gonna be very valuable and you're probably gonna to wanna to send them off to a professional company to get graded. So you wanna protect them very well starting today. The first thing you wanna do is go and buy a couple packs of what we call in the baseball card industry, 
penny sleeves. These are soft covers that you can put the cards in and will keep the edges from getting frayed or the corners from getting dinged. Again, my suggestion at this point would be to put all your physical hero cards into these soft sleeves to preserve the condition of them. And you might also want to pick up either top loaders or card savers for the more valuable cards. I personally prefer top loaders over card savers because of the look of them and the extra protection that they provide. But with these type of cards, they're like Pokemon cards or Magic the Gathering cards. They're a little more thin than baseball cards. So using those top loaders, if you hold the top loader upside down, the card probably will fall out. So you have to be careful about that if you're going to use top loaders to protect them. You can also use the card savers. The card savers are a little bit lighter, not quite as protective, but they still keep your cards in good condition as long as you keep them in a box. And you just have to be careful about how you insert those cards into those card savers. You want to squeeze on both sides so that it pops open and then you put one corner in first so that it slides in without damaging your card. If you're planning on or you've already ordered a lot of the hero physical cards, I would suggest getting one of these card containers that we call shoe boxes or super shoes. They're very good at holding top loaders or card savers. And I will add links in the description to places where you can purchase these supplies and I always recommend using the brand Ultra Pro when it comes to buying the soft sleeves, the top loaders, and even the card savers. And my last long term strategy for making money on Hero is being a part of and active in the Hero Discord server because we already have seen from the first digital exclusive NFT drop that they had that about 50% of the supply was saved for people who were whitelisted for that drop. And they had a lot of challenges and giveaways to get on the whitelist. And we know that they're going to have these digital exclusive drops once a month. So I'm going to keep my eye on that Hero Discord and try to get whitelisted as much as possible so that I'm able to buy those packs when they drop. We've already seen the first pack shoot all the way up to over $750 in the Hero Marketplace. And that was originally $50. Bucks and you're able to purchase 10 of those. So if you get whitelisted and you're able to buy 10 at this point, looking at the demand and the value, I would try to buy all 10 of those. My short term strategy for making money on Hero is something that a lot of people in the VV community have already been doing and that is selling my Hero NFTs on the Immutable X marketplace for OMI tokens, especially with the OMI price being as low as it is right now. One thing that has been very evident by looking at the Hero marketplace and the Immutable X marketplace for these Hero NFTs is that they're selling for twice as much if not more on the Immutable X marketplace than they are on the Hero marketplace. So some people are even buying off the Hero marketplace and just exporting them directly to IMX and listing them there. So I showed you guys earlier how to export your NFTs from Hero to Immutable X. And once they're there and you go into your assets, you can easily go to the marketplace and use one of the terms from your NFT to see how much they're selling for on IMX. I was fortunate enough to be able to purchase a couple of the hybrid NFTs from a friend a few weeks ago. If we take a look at one of the epic NFTs that I purchased in the Hero Marketplace, you can see that it's selling for about 130 bucks. But in the Immutable X Marketplace, it's selling for a lot more. So what I'll do is I'll search for that NFT in Immutable X and I'll usually separate it by Ethereum. And then I'll use a cryptocurrency calculator, which I will link in the description below to find out exactly how much they're selling for. And then I'll go and list that NFT for sale on the Immutable X for OMI tokens instead of Ethereum. And I've checked the prices for many NFTs on Hero, and you can see that they always sell for twice as much, if not more, on the Immutable X platform than they do on the Hero marketplace. Which leads me to why Hero is so very bullish for VV collectors. We can already see from Hero how much the prices go up when you're able to purchase these NFTs with other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum in marketplaces like Immutable X, which is exactly what the plan is for VV in the future. So looking at the success of Hero's 2D NFTs, you can easily imagine how well VV's 3D premium NFTs are going to do once they're on the Immutable X marketplace. Alright guys, so that's all the info I have for you right now on the Hero NFT platform. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. And I'll be sure to keep you updated on the progress of this platform. And I'll be live streaming the Hero digital exclusive drops in the future. Thanks for watching my Omi homies and I will see y'all at tomorrow's Moon Knight drops. Later. And again, this is available only in four countries, the United States. Once you've withdrawn your Hero NFT to Immutable X, you'll have to wait about 24 hours, and then after that, there's a button you can click to with. Oh my goodness! Shh.